Okay, so this is the topic for today's lesson. This is a new topic after we have uh, done the previous topic, which is about angles. So uh, I believe that actually uh, you have a lot of, I mean, you have studied this, you have learned this in elementary school, of course. And for example, like the name of the shapes, uh, the, the properties of the shape, like have four sides, have nine degree angle and so on, so on and so on right and then uh also the perimeter and the area okay the perimeter and this them in elementary school okay so we're going to have some review a little bit about what you have learned again in elementary school and then we're going to solve some questions uh, involving perimeter for today only perimeter yeah and also we're going to use algebra to uh, calculate some of that calculation okay so let's just start from the first one okay that uh, so we have review first we want to review first that oh yeah so the first thing that I would like to review is uh, from the previous topic, which is about angles. When we're talking about angles, we know that angles actually come from like two lines or two uh, line segment or two rays, right? In which they have like the same uh, uh, like ending or beginning point, for example. And then um, if it, uh, or if it intersect, yeah. And then we know that uh, the first thing that we learn uh, when we learn about angles is we learn about that we have this guy over here, here, this is what we call a point, okay? Okay, if you still remember point, right? A point is like a small dot. It's uh, to locate uh, a specific place, for example. In a Cartesian plane, maybe we're going to learn about that later on in grade eight. But yeah, we're, we learn about points. So uh, basically, guys, point is actually a zero dimensional shape. Yeah, it's a, it has zero dimension because it does it. You can't go anywhere with a point. It's just like okay, that is point. If you're anywhere from a point, then you will make a line, right? It's not a point anymore. It's gonna be a line. So yeah, the second one is a line, right? We have line, we have line segment, and then we have ray. So actually, this is a one-dimensional shape, right? Because you can go like that. Or, uh, you can only go like left or right. That's it, okay? So that's why we, we uh, assume that it is a one-dimensional shape. So the next shape, the, the next, uh, the next uh, after a point in line is a plane, actually, yeah? So when we're talking about plane, this is a two-dimensional shape. So what is actually a plane? The algam tiga lima, tiga lapan ya, sepuluh tiga lapan. Okay, yeah, tolong ya. So plane is actually a two-dimensional shape. So when we when you are learning when you were learning about uh two-dimensional shape, it's actually talking about plane. What is plane? Plane is not the plane plane that flies yang begini gitu yang ada sayapnya bukan ini ya maksudnya so the plane here is uh, uh, in bahasa Indonesia we call it bidang ya bidang datar itu sebutnya plane ya jadi be careful with that because again guys in mathematics there are a couple of it's not a couple there's so many of uh, vocabularies that you might have a uh, different meaning with the if you say it in a daily life situation and in mathematical situation it's gonna be it's gonna have a different uh meaning yeah okay so so we're going to focus on here okay so today we're going to focus on plane and which has two dimensional shape okay so again why is it two dimensional because actually you can get you can go left or right and you can go up and down right that's why we call it two-dimensional shape and as for like three-dimensional shape you can go like inside or outside right so that's why we have 3d so but we're not going to talk about 3d we're going to talk about 2d okay so again the review that we're going to have for today is the first one i would like you to mention what are the name of the shapes of two-dimensional shape that you have all the learn in ele from elementary school. Okay, silakan langsung aja di unmute guys. Dari Tristan dulu deh. Uh, rectangle. Ya, yeah, oke, okay, very good. Satu rectangle. Uh, square. Eh, tadi dulu pelan-pelan satu-satu. Temannya juga harus kebagian. Oke. Okay. Kamu dua ya. Minta satu aja. Brian, ya yeah, silakan. 
apa lagi? Dayan, halo. Paralelogram. Oke, okay, good. Paralelogram. Oke. Okay. Kenny? Kenny bisa di-unmute? Sebutkan yeah. satu saja. M1. Ya, silakan disebutkan satu aja bangun datar yang belum kesebut di sini. Bangun datar apa aja? Apalagi Ada rectangle, ada square, ada square, ada, square, ada, square, ada, square, ada yang begini, 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 ya kan? Nah, silakan itu namanya apa aja ya? Uh, ya? Uh, saya bingung pak. <laughs> ini namanya apa nih? Paramlan. Itu segitiga yeah. nggak sama kaki pak? Iya, yeah, segitiga yang saya gambar pakai tangan saya. <laughs> segitiga ya, <laughs> triangle. Oke. Okay. Uh, Cynthia, ya. Uh, hexagon. Oke, okay, hexagon bolehlah, hexagon. Ya, yeah. tapi hexagon nanti kita nggak belajar ini. Oke, lanjut apa lagi Kiara? Rombus. Oke, okay, good. Rombusnya. Rombus is this guy over here ya. Oke, okay, next uh, Lukman. Circle, Pak. Oke, okay, nice. Abel. Ini udah, ini udah. Ini udah. Ini masih ada dua lagi nih. Apa itu Bel? Namanya Bel. Uh, ini dari oh ya yeah, uh. kait boleh oke okay. kait satu lagi ya uh, Aurel uh, trapezium ya yeah, oke okay. nice ya yeah. trapezium atau trapezoid sama aja ya yeah. oke okay. so we have these uh, shapes that we have all alone so actually yes we have like hexagon and then pentagon and so on, so on right with a lot of gone gone on the, on the back <laughs> and actually we're not going to talk about that today uh we're going to talk only the basic shape that you have already learned in elementary school so which is which are these one right so and then we're not going to talk about circle uh for now because circle yeah actually yes we're going to talk about that yeah just the area okay so the, these are the shapes that we're going to talk about for today okay so i'm gonna draw some um shapes uh the shape that you have already mentioned here so let's say from i'm gonna draw a rectangle here like this and then we have another one which is a square which is a square the next one is a square approximately like this and we have parallelogram i cannot use that that so i'm gonna draw manually so it's pretty much like this right and which it has two parallel lines, two pairs of parallel lines. And we have a triangle, and we have already talked about triangle previously in angles, right? And we have a rhombus, so it's a, or the other name is a diamond, or in Bahasa Indonesia, we have belah ketupat. And we have circle, and we have kite, atau layang layang. And then the last one is a trapezoid, something like this, okay? So I would like to ask you one thing before I go to the, the real topic, which is perimeter. Okay, so I'm gonna draw something here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna draw a something like this. Okay, here we go. Okay, so does anyone at uh, this, I mean like everyone agree that this is a square, right? This is a square, bener ya, square ya. Because we know that the square actually has like all of the sides are the same, have the same length. And then we have the, yeah, something like that. So question is, if I 
if I rotate this, okay, so if I rotate it like this question, is this still a square or is it a rhombus? That's the uh, first question. It's a rhombus, but I think it could be a square, but the name is a 90 degree square, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you think that this is still a square or is it a rhombus? Is it a rhombus? rhombus. Yes. Okay. Does anyone uh, disagree with uh, Trista? Ada yang tidak setuju enggak? Itu kayaknya tetap square deh, enggak jadi rombus. Bagaimana? A million dollar question. Menurut kalian jadi rombus enggak guys? Okay, yeah. Tapi kata Tristan katanya itu jadi rumus ya. So if this if this becomes a rhombus, so what's the difference between square and a rhombus? Kalau ini tadi saya cuma putar doang jadi rhombus. Square. Terus apa dong beda? Tristan, aduh saya yang ngelag. Saya ngelag Tristan. Mohon maaf. Kenapa? Ini repeat. Jadi saya ngelek, sorry. Uh, saya ngelek, ngelek. Hmm. Jadi kalau rombus, itu hmm. bedanya dia agak miring 90 derajat. Agak miring 90 derajat. Terus kalau square? Dia tuh steady, Pak. Dia steady. Lurus. Dia lurus. Oke, okay. jadi intinya gini. Ini kalau square, kalau saya putar doang gitu ya, dia jadi rombus kalau saya putar doang. Betul ya, begitu. Menurut kamu gitu kan ya? Ya, benar ya, ya, ya. ya oke. Okay. Okay. Terima kasih Tristan for the opinion. Ya. Oke, okay. so actually guys, this is not a rhombus. This is a still a square. <laughs> oke, okay, I'm going to tell you why. So, uh, many of the students, I haven't seen any of you. Tadi ada yang ngechat nih. Oh ya. Saya dari ngajar di SPI kayaknya belum pernah ketemu ada siswa yang udah langsung tahu oh ya pak ini bukan ini tetap square pasti semuanya bilang ini rombus <laughs> ternyata tidak guys this is not a rombus this is still a square so again what is the difference between rhombus and a square so when we talking about uh, kayak nggak sama <laughs> ya apanya nggak sama sih ya <laughs> can you explain kita maybe <laughs> apanya yang nggak sama Ya, agak lebih banter yeah. tuh rombus. Agak lebih banter. Here we go. Not perpend. Ya itu dia benar ya yes, Cynthia. Not perpendicular to each other. Perpendicular itu apa? Kemarin kita udah bahas ya perpendicular ya. Apa sih perpendicular, guys? Ya, oh ya, ngelek ya, oke. Lebih miring. <laughs> ya, oke ya. Benar ya, ini kata kuncinya. Benar, per... lines itu lines that cross or meet each other. 90 degrees angle. Uh, 90 degrees angle. Ya, yeah, ini dia. Ini dia, guys. So, this is the difference, ya, guys. So, even though, saya ulang ya, guys. So, even though this is a square, for example, yeah, this is a square, ya, yeah, because we have all of the side, all of the angles are 90 degrees. Yeah? So all of the angle in here, in here, in here, in here, all of the 90 degrees. So even though it's, if I only if I only uh, rotate this, the angle will still be 90 degree, right? The angle inside, this is still 90 degree. These, all of them, all of them are still 90 degrees. So which means that this is still a square. This is still a square. So what? makes a rhombus a rhombus so actually yeah so when we're talking about square remember that we have all of the sides are the same right and then a square needs to have 90 degree angle so the difference between rhombus and a square is actually when we're talking about rhombus is is i'm gonna draw a rhombus for you guys there we go for example like this okay here we go so this is a rhombus so if you say rhombus, okay, we have all of the sides are this have the same length. All of the sides have the same exact length, but but it is not perpendicular, right? It's not perpendicular. So these angles, none of them 
which have 90 degree. So this is a wrong this. Yeah. So be careful with. Yeah. 30 degrees ya Pak yang atas sama bawah. Ya bisa berapa aja. Yang pasti bukan 90 derajat gitu ya. Bisa berapa aja. It can be any in any size of angle, but it's not 90 degree. If it is 90 degree, then the name is not rhombus anymore. It becomes a square. Gitu ya. Because there will be some uh, questions that might trick you uh, in order to for you to know, oh, this is a rhombus and this is a square. So you need to know the difference between rhombus and square. Oke okay, ya tadi Cynthia sudah, Darren juga sudah. Oke, okay, rumus kalau di read kata-kata rata-rata gini. Oke, okay, ya okay lah. Lebih panjang yang bawahnya. Oke, okay, lebih panjang. Oke. Okay. So if we're talking about rhombus guys, ya seru nih ya. We have these diagonal ya. Yeah? Uh, this guy and this guy. Ya, yeah? ini kita sebutnya diagonal ya. Yeah? This is diagonal one, the other two. So this diagonal will have different size of length, ya. Yeah? Dia panjangnya beda. Tapi kalau square ini akan sama. Ini sama ini akan sama persis panjangnya. Yeah. So that's uh, the other difference. Other difference, uh, apa namanya, to uh, yeah, to to make a difference between square and rhombus. Gitu ya. Oke, okay, itu pertanyaan pertama. Oke, okay, thank you very much. Ya, tadi udah ada yang ngerti. Terima kasih banyak. <laughs> okay, now let's go back to the main topic. Okay, so please write this down today. Uh, today's main topic, which is about parameter. Okay, so the title again. I'm going to use stop and restart because so the title for today's Uh, lesson about two dimensional shape is about perimeter ya kita ngomongin perimeter okay so i'm gonna draw something here and then i would like you to calculate because you have already learned this in elementary school so i assume that you won't have any difficulties in calculating this okay so let's say i have this is as five centimeter and then this is three centimeter and this is a rectangle okay so the question what is the perimeter of the shape Oke, okay, silakan langsung aja. Siapa yang bisa? Coba. Ya, silakan. Tristan. Meter itu apa ngitungnya kan? Uh, mm -hmm. Itu berarti kan yang bawah kan 5 cm juga, Pak. Ya, yeah, oke. Okay, good. Itu terus? Itu udah 1 cm. Terus sampingnya uh -huh. itu sama, sama, mereka kan sama-sama 3, jadi itu 6. Ya, yeah, betul. Oke, okay, jadinya berapa? 16 cm. 16 cm. Oke, okay, very good Tristan ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. 16 ya. Yeah. So, terus saya mau balikin lagi ke Tristan. Jadi perimeter itu apa dong? Perimeter itu antara panjang kali sisi kali lebar. Bentar, bentar. Panjang kali sisi. Bentar, bentar Pak, aku ingat-ingat ini rumus pas grade 6, Pak. Panjang tambah sisi. Kamu ada yang panggil deh. Ya pokoknya okay. itu Pak yang Pak eh, sisi tambah sisi tambah apa itu. Ya rumus grade 6 itu Pak. Ya ya oke oke oke. Stress. Oke oke oke. Oke ya. So oke. Okay. Tadi kan yang ada dikali. Dia bilang katanya dikali. Panjang keliling Pak. Oke. Okay. Yeah. Oke, okay, ini dia guys. Panjang keliling. Oke, okay, benar ya guys. So, perimeter in bahasa Indonesia is keliling. Yes, it is keliling. Ya, keliling itu apa? Sekarang gini, atau gini, pakai kalimat deh, jangan pakai angka. How do you calculate perimeter? Let's say I have point A, this is point B, and this is point C, and this is point D. Oke, okay, silakan di di apa namanya dibentuk sebuah kalimat untuk gimana cara ngitung itu B sama C, B sampai C ya. Terus Habis itu C sampai D. Terus eh uh, uh, bentar. Habis itu hitung A sampai D juga habis itu ditambah sampai uh, bisa sampai okay. A. Oke. Oke, oke, oke. Saling tam, uh, lebarnya tam, ka, kali dua. Heeh. Uh itu lebar iya iya betul jadi ya, kali lebar, dua juga nah. oke okay. jadi 16 gitu ya oke okay. nah itu kalau ada abcd kalau misalnya bentuknya misalnya gini let's say I have another shape misalnya kayak gini ini gimana Kalo cara ngitung hitung, pak apa yang dihitung size ya size nya Satunya doang, berarti satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam, tujuh, delapan, berarti delapan perimeternya. 
Oh, enggak, tapi kepanjang side-nya Oh, panjang side-nya. Terus diapain panjang side-nya? Kita apain? Dikali. Dikali? Dikali dua semua. Bukan dikali maksudnya. Dua semua. Maksudnya kayak ditambahin satu sama lain. Jadi ditambah apa dikali nih? Konsisten ditambah. loh. Ditambah. Dan dikali ya. Oke. Okay. Gitu ya. Oke. Okay. Oke okay, guys. Jadi gini ya. Uh, I would like you to understand the concept first ya. Yeah? Instead of like memorizing the formula. Yes, you can memorize the formula of course. But I would like you to understand where do we get that formula actually. And what is actually perimeter ya. Yeah? I'm going to explain to you guys a little bit ya. Yeah? Oke, okay. ya dari yang udah kasih rumus betul. <laughs> Tapi again ya, yeah, I would like to understand the concept ya, yeah, the concept, oke. Okay? So perimeter, tolong ditulis ya guys. Perimeter actually is the distance, ya yeah, distance around a shape. Yeah, distance around a shape. Around ya, yeah, ada kata-kata around ya, yeah, kalau kata around ya. Yeah. So whenever we have any kind of two-dimensional shape, it's as easy as calculating, as calculating, adding all of the side, yeah, not inside. Okay. So if I give you another example like this, so I'm gonna draw a triangle this time. Okay, oops, sorry, I should be not using this one. Uh, Okay, uh, here we go. I'm gonna give you a, let's say this is an isosceles triangle. Here we go. And I have this, let's say, this is 10 centimeter. Yeah, this is 13 centimeter. And then this is, I'm gonna draw a line here, and this is 12 centimeter. Okay, now I will, I, I'm gonna ask you the same question. For this shape, what is the parameter? Previously, we have 16 from adding 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 3 equals to 16, right? How about this one? Hmm. 13 terus tambah bawah 10 terus karena okay. ini kan di 12 eh di tengah-tengah ada 12 itu sama kayak mm -hmm. di yang kanan juga 13 cm mm. ini 13 juga oke okay. terus 12 nya kemana itu enggak 12 nya 12 nya sih tinggal ditambahin aja dapat itu enggak pertanyaan itu Kayaknya tinggal gitu hitung gini aja deh gitu Pak. 26 ya. tambah 10, 36, terus tambah 12. Apa, 48. 48, oke. Kita uh, Tristan 48, kata Azam 36. Yang lain ada yang beda nggak? Beda pendapat ya? Ya, Darren jadi berapa? <laughs> ada dualisme. Kalau dua belas ditambah, berarti Kiara, berapa? Kiara, Kiara, what do you think, Kiara? Do you agree with one of them or? Uh, sama Azam, Pak. Kita, so dia bilang apa? Nanti bilang tiga enam. So which one is the correct one? Okay, let's go back to the definition. Ya, yeah? definitionnya dulu nih. Yeah. Distance. Around, ini saya ada tulis nih, ya. ada tulis satu around. Around means that you only need to calculate the one outside, ya, the side yang ada di outside, gak usah yang dalam. For example, like this, misalnya gini ya, uh, Pak Ganjar misalnya, guru olahraga, ya, lari keliling lapangan, misalnya. Oke, okay. tracknya kalau dari A ke mana? Apakah boleh begini? Gak boleh, karena kan dia bilang sebenarnya keliling lapangan, ya kan? Atau boleh begini, tracknya, larinya, enggak kan? Ya enggak. Tracknya gimana? Dari sini ke sini, ke sini, ke sini. Ke sini. Walaupun misalnya gini guys, misalnya ya, in the in the middle we know that we have, for example, this is like a bas basketball uh, field or sport. We have a line in here, right? 
ada lainnya di sini pak. Nah pertanyaannya ini kan misalnya tiga juga. Ini dihitung nggak sih? Kalau ngitung keliling, dihitung nggak? Tristan, gimana Tristan? Itu dihitung nggak yang dalamnya? Enggak pak. Enggak dihitung gitu ya. Saya ulang ya guys. Jadi you need to understand the concept first. Although I'm writing down this, ya ini untuk mengecoh aja gitu. Maksudnya apa? Balik lagi ke pengertian dari perimeter itu sendiri. So perimeter is just adding, ya adding. Saya ulang ya, adding all of the side length, only the side length. Anything inside, you don't need to calculate it. Ya, you don't need to calculate. It. So yes, this is 13 centimeter betul. Karena ini isosceles triangle ya, because this is 13, this is going to be also 13 ya. Isosceles kan sama kaki ya, sama panjang kakinya gitu maksudnya ya. Ya, so this is going to be 36. Ya, 36 comes from 13 plus 13 plus 10. So again, you only need to add the one outside. Ya, so saya ulang ya di sini. So the perimeter will be equals to 13 plus 13 plus 10, which is equals to 36 centimeter. And for this one here, this is like 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 3 equals to 16. Although you can use the formula, ya, equals to yang P sama dengan, uh, sorry, perimeter itu keliling K ya, kamu disitu ya. So 2 times L plus W, L is for the length, W is for the width. So you can write down 2 times 5 plus 3 equals to 2 times 8 equals to 16. You will get the same exact answer. Okay? So whenever you answer calculation as perimeter right i am not going to i mean like it's it's not necessary if you want to memorize it's fine i mean like it's good it's a good thing but if you're having difficulties in memorizing like me yeah i'm a i'm a person that kind of i mean like having difficulties memorizing something i'm not memor when we understand the concept then we know that oh yeah the formula is like that okay so let's investigate where do we actually get this formula right where where do we get that ya kan pak ditambahin dulu si uh, lebar sama panjangnya terus dikali dua dapatnya dari mana ya sebenarnya oke okay, so i'm gonna draw that and another one here kok ini sih salah maaf and okay so if we have a rectangle like this right so let's name the side this one is length right this is the width right so which means that this is going to be length and also width right because they will have the same exact uh, size right okay. so when we're talking about perimeter again we only need to add all of these right so i'm going to add all of these using algebra again so i'm going to write l plus w plus l plus w right and remember in algebra if we have the like terms this one and this one l plus l is 2l right oh that will be 2l and we have another one which has the same uh what do you call it? the term which is uh, like terms yeah w and w w plus w equals to 2w and when remember in factorizing because we have two as the same factor so you can write down like this so we're going back right we're going back to the same exact formula so when when you are learning this in elementary school most of the time not very deep in understanding the concept what is perimeter a, what perimeter is right so all of the formulas that you get when you're learning this in elementary school is actually from algebra okay okay i'm gonna give you one more question one more example of question of perimeter and then we were going to do some exercise okay so here we go i'm gonna draw a trapezium sorry is my drawing is not too good yeah maaf ya ini anggap aja ini garis lurus ya guys anggap saja ini garis lurus okay okay this is uh, i'm gonna this is five centimeter this is let's say as 20 centimeters This is 12 centimeters and this is 13 centimeters. Okay, now same question. What is the perimeter of the shape? Jadi, ya, silakan lagi Tristan. Yo. 20 tambah, mm -hmm. tambah 20 tambah 25. 20, oke, okay, good. 25, dapat dari mana 25-nya? 
Oh iya, 13 sampai 12. Oh, 13 sampai 12. Oke, tulis tulis yang uh, jelas dulu ya, 13 sampai 12. Terus tambah tambah 5. 5. Udah? Udah. Udah, yakin. Oh iya, hasilnya. Udah, uh, udah belum yang ditambahin? Belum, belum, Pak. Hasilnya itu, doang yang itu ditambahin. 50, Pak. Entar dulu, bentar. Kamu kan nambahin bentar ya. Ini saya saya bantu ya. Kamu kan tadi nambahin yang 20. 20-nya kali 2. Ya. Saya lupa. Ah, kenapa dikali dua? Karena yang bawahnya juga ada kenapa? sama. Nah, ini dia ini 20. Itu Oke, tambah 20 ya. Lupa. Berapa tuh? Berapa? 70. 70. 70? Yakin 70? Iya. 70 ya, benar ya? Iya, 70. Ya. Yeah. So again, guys, when we when we have a couple of questions like this, and again, when you are in elementary school, you'll be given this kind of question, yeah? Kenapa Tristan? <laughs> yeah, soalnya Tristan yang uh, apa namanya yang uh, nyalain micnya. Kalau kalian mau jawab, kalian uh, open mic ya, <laughs> open mic. <laughs> Cynthia mau? Ya, saya kasih deh satu nih, buat Cynthia nih. Iya nih, kayaknya nggak adil nih Tristan mulu soalnya nih ngomong nih Tristan. Makanya on me. <laughs> nih saya kasih dah nih ini namanya kite ya. Namanya kite. Oke, kite saya kasih. Oh kalau kite kan biasanya bikinnya begini ya, ada apa ini kayunya gitu ya. Nah ini dia. Oke. Okay. Set set. Nah, let's say this is a five. Ah uh, five ya. Let's say this is twelve uh, thirteen aja lah. Oke, okay. nah ya deh boleh langsung ke Cynthia deh. Cynthia silahkan. Ya. Yeah. Eh Tristan. <laughs> Cynthia dulu. Eh Cynthia bergerak. <laughs> Tadi kita mau nyoba. Oh. Elma ya. Mana punya? Uh, 5 cm 5 terus ditambah 13 terus udah itu aja ditambah 5 uh, ditambah 13 uh, udah belum belum yakin Jadi berapa? Ya udah. Mau langsung ditambah apa? Per ada yang perlu ditambah lagi? What do you think? Oke. Okay. Gimana Cynthia? Ya, udah tambah lagi. Udah ya? Udah ya? Kenapa udah? Kenapa enggak yang dalamnya dihitung juga nih? Kan dalamnya ada. Misalnya di sini saya kasih misalnya. Oh. Boleh enggak sih? Saya itu enggak sih dalamnya pertanyaan itu loh. Iya. Masa coba balik ah, lagi. Oh, ya, 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 Sekarang ya, sentimeter. Nah, bener ya. Thank you ya, Cynthia. Bener ya. Ini bagus Caranya ya. Caranya lebih kalau... simpel, Pak. Iya, iya nggak apa-apa. Kita belajar bareng ya, oke. Okay? Yang penting mah kita paham semua. Oke okay, ya, guys. Saya ulang ya, guys. Why we do not have to calculate these two lines, the line of these two lines, because it's inside, ya. Yeah? Because when we go back to the when we go back to the definition ya kan it's just this and around the shape cuma yang luarnya doang jadi yang dalamnya enggak perlu ya jadi the one that you only need to calculate the, uh, you only need to add is just ini tambah ini tambah ini tambah ini udah ya kan yang dalam enggak usah ingat ya konsepnya gini aja guys yang tadi saya kasih contoh kalau kalian disuruh uh, lari keliling lapangan kalian kan enggak masuk-masuk ke dalam lapangannya kan coba di pinggiran doang kan nah jadi jadi just add yang di pinggir-pinggirnya aja gitu ya. Iya gitu ya darinya. Oke, okay. terima kasih Cynthia. Oke. Okay. Sudah any question before I give an exercise guys? 
Tiga ya. Oke, okay. nah, nah, lupa lagi di... tulis. Oh, uh, oh, belum tulis dulu. Oke, oke, silakan. mau ditulis ya. Saya kasih waktu 3 menit ya. Sementara saya mau ambil air minum dulu. <coughs> Dua menit lah cukup lah. Hmm. Ya, note ya, saya tulis note ya. Of only add the side the outer ya side plank nih tuh only add the outer ya yang di luarnya aja yang dalamnya nggak perlu oke okay. saya kasih enam pertanyaan ya six question uh, dua pertanyaan Bentar, ya. Okay, can we go to the next slide? Kokoro no tomo. Kokoro no tomo. Eh, salah ya, kan itu nih ya. Gimana sih lagunya? Lupa. Ada yang tahu lagu Kokoro no tomo nggak? Kokoro no Oh, bukan itu ya. One, two, seven. Grade seven. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Two minutes is up. Now I'm gonna give you the questions that you need to answer. And uh, please take your exercise book with you. I'm gonna give you like 20 minutes, maybe, uh, to answer all of the question. Yeah, 20 minutes only. Okay, so I'm gonna open. I'm gonna give you the same question as seven Wellington. So here we go. Uh, These are the six questions. Okay, is it too small, guys? Sudah kecilan nggak? Kecilan nggak? Kalau nggak, ya udah. <laughs> nah, ini, oops. Okay. So we have two sections, guys. Actually, uh, the first section is calculate the perimeter of each shape. Uh, it's from number one until number four. And the number five and number six, uh, we're going to use algebra to uh, calculate that. I'm going to zoom that a little bit. I'm going to show you number one until number four first, yeah? Okay, I'm going to zoom that a little bit. Here we go. Okay, here we go. This is for number one until number four. And I would like you to please draw this in your exercise book, yeah? Draw it. Use, if you have ruler, please use it. Please use the ruler, yeah? Uh, to draw this. Yeah, I'm going to give you about uh, seven minutes, maybe, to answer all the questions. This is quite easy, yeah? Because actually, it's, it has the same exact uh, concept like we have uh, previously, okay? And again, guys, if you still have any question, just ask. You can private chat me, or you can just like, uh, apa namanya? you can just like uh, unmute yourself and, and then ask question. Okay, I'm gonna give you uh, seven minutes maybe for for questioning. At least write down the question first, the question and the picture. Uh, we're going to end the class at eleven. Wait, what is this? Eleven fifty actually. Yeah, maximum. Yeah, maximum eleven fifty. I I hope that eleven forty before eleven forty we can uh, end the class. Oke, okay, silakan langsung exercise book ya. Tolong ditulis di exercise book. Saya ulang nih, saya ulang. Jangan diketik pakai lap di laptop bukan, bukan diketik nih. Ini direkam ya di YouTube ya. Nih, biar saya ada bukti ya, guys. <laughs> Please write the answer on your exercise book using pen. Kenapa? And please the, the color Kenapa? of the pen needs to be Kenapa, Tristan? Oke, saya habis belum minum. Uh, apa 
Ya kalau mau sambil ngapain ini dikerjain? Ngapain? Dari tadi ngapain aja? Saya ulang ya, please. Sambil minum pak. Iya capek deh ya. Oke saya ulang ya. Tolong ini dikerjain ada enam soal ya. Ini yang lima enam nanti saya tunjukin ya. Sekali lagi saya nggak mau terima kalau kalian ketik nggak mau. Pokoknya tulis di exercise book di foto ya. Pakai pulpen. Pulpennya warnanya biru atau hitam. Gak boleh warna lain. Biru atau hitam. That's it ya. Ini direkam di YouTube. Saya upload di YouTube. Kalau kalau kalian komplain nanti saya kasih ke orang tua YouTube-nya biar tahu orang tuanya. <laughs> Capek nih saya ngomong mulu ya. Ditulis ya, ditulis tangan guys. Tulis tangan, use your pen, right? Use your exercise book. Ambil exercise book-nya, ditulis. Prosesnya juga ditulis ya. Please write down the process. The same exact process I and mean, like the one that I gave you before, like the examples. Please write it down. Tolong tulis ya. Oke, okay, saya tunggu ya sampai nomor 4. Saya tunggu masih ada tadi udah tadi sekitar 7 menit ya. Masih ada sekitar 4 menit lagi ya. Oke. Okay. Oh ya enggak apa-apa. If you use pencil is okay ya. No problem. Enggak usah ditulis ulang, enggak apa-apa. Pakai pensil juga boleh, masih boleh lah, apa-apa. Yang penting ditulis di exercise book ya. Thank you, Kenny. Ya, kalau udah terlanjur pakai pensil is okay, no problem. Tapi tolong tulisannya yang jelas. Thank you. Yang saya terus ulang, ya. Yang saya nggak terima adalah kalau kalian ketik, apalagi ketiknya nggak pakai. <laughs> Ada nih yang ketiknya nggak pakai word, langsung aja ketik itu. Jawaban akhir doang. <laughs> Oke, okay. udah bukan masanya lagi kayak gitu ya. Mungkin itu kalau di SD mungkin masih, tapi sekarang udah di SMP. Apalagi sama saya belajarnya, uh, saya nggak mau terima. Kalau cuma jawaban akhir, saya mau terima prosesnya. Ada soalnya, ada prosesnya, ada tulis tangannya. Ya. Begitulah, ya, kira-kira. Oke, silakan. Bentar ya, saya mau ambil minum dulu. Oke, okay, saya akan tunjukkan nomor lima ya, guys. Eh, ini saya pause dulu recording. Oke, okay, so this is how you're going to do number five and number six, okay? So remember, I told you to write down the process. So this is also going to be, needs to be written in process, okay? So here we go. So we know that the uh, in here we have a rectangle. This is a rectangle, right? And we have this side is 2x plus 1, and this one is 3x, ya. Itu x, ya, maksudnya bukan 2 atau apa, ya. 2x plus 1 and 3x, okay? And then the question is find the value of x. 
if the parameter is 72, because we know that parameter is just adding all of the sides. So if I write down P as a parameter, right, and that will be this guy, right, 2x plus 1, add it with this guy, which is 3x, and then add it again with this guy, right? Because we need to uh, add all of the uh, sides. This uh, this is going to be also 2x plus 1, right? Right, 2x plus 1, because it's the same, it's going to be the same with this one. So it's 2x plus 1. And the last one is we're going to add this side over here, and which it is also going to be the same with this one, which is 3x, right? And because we know that the parameter is 72, so that's, this will be equal to 72, OK? So you have this equation, right? So if you have that as an one equation, um, just solve it, right? Remember how to solve it, right? You can just go back to algebra again if you forgot on how to do it, OK? Paham ya? Ini nomor 5 sama nomor 6 nanti kerjanya kayak gini ya, guys, OK? Any question for number 5? Hello? Question? No, no. Oke, okay. okay. so again, please do systematically because you really need to write down all of the process of working so that I know which one that you don't understand yet. Okay, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna pause. Okay, so I'm gonna explain a little bit about number five and number six again, guys. The first thing that you need to do is to read the question carefully, yeah? So what do you know from the question? And here in the question, we have the shape, right? And then we have the perimeter. So we already have the perimeter. So we're not looking for the perimeter, we are looking for the value of x, in which here, this is x, this is x, this is also x right okay so we need to we need to make a, a connection between these two information we have all of the sides right and then we have the perimeter so if i write down perimeter p right perimeter that will be this guy right okay add it with this guy right add it with this guy add it with this guy right and then add it with this guy over here. What is this? Aurel. Kenapa? Halo? Ya, 3x minus 8. Gitu ya. Yeah. Because it's the same thing, ya gak sih? With this guy, right? Nah, and that will be equal to 74. Because it... 74 because the parameter is 74. So you only need to solve this, right? How can we solve it? Remember, like terms. Oh, this one can be combined with this one, with this one, and with this one, and so on and so on and so on. I don't need to explain it to you again, guys, because yeah, I've explained to you many times, and you can go back to the previous video if you want to see on how to solve an algebraic equation. Okay? Gimana, Aurel? Paham ya? Oke, okay, oke. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oke, okay, ini saya hapus ya. Oke. Okay. Ang ie. Oke, okay, saya hapus, dikerjain lagi. Silakan continue on your work. Saya share apa sabar, Pak? Oh, iya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, saya sabar. Tenang. Oh, saya udah, Pak. <laughs> saya orangnya penyabar kok, tenang aja. Oke, okay, sebentar yang sudah selesai. Saya refresh dulu. Yeah. Again, guys, you need to read the question carefully, first one, and then you need to uh, you need to know what is given from the question and also connect that with the one that's being asked, okay? So again, most of the time, you will really, really need to write down the process, like 99.9% .9 of the time, you need to write down the process because the calculation is not going to be like as simple as when you're in elementary school. It's going to be a little more challenging. And if you don't write it down, then it will be, I mean, like, yeah, you know, there will be some calculation that might have. Okay, Darren, Uda, okay, thank you. Alzam, masih di resubmit ya. Okay, Alzam, silakan tolong di 
diubah, diubah. Oke, okay, Darren, thank you very much. Uh, if you are sure with your answer, you can leave the classroom. Thank you very much. You can okay, uh, be seeing you again on Friday. Thank you, Darren. Tristan, do you want to resubmit the task? But actually, if you don't want to, it's fine, but the score will not be as good as you. Yeah, you know, because number six and number five and number six is actually incorrect because that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the value facts, which is not the predictor. Okay. Okay, guys, so that's it for today. I hope that you can submit the task uh, as soon as possible because the due date should be today, the 22nd of February, 2022 at 11 o'clock uh, p.m., yeah, 11 p.m. So, but yeah, please do it today and so that you won't forget because I am worried that if you postpone it, you will forget it and then you will not be able to submit it on time, okay? Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much for the uh, lesson today. I'm going to see you again on Friday and I'm going to see you again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, guys.